<laughs> okay, uh, is this your last song? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Alright, here's a song I wrote with uh, with my friend Alejandro Escobedo. <laughs> friend of the Beachland. Yeah. And um spent, uh, you know, a good year writing an album of his called uh, Real Animal. I don't know if anybody remembers that. Yet. And uh, we had a good time, and uh, we, we wrote, you know, some of that record uh, in, in, in the shoebox I was talking about earlier, and some of it we wrote uh, out at Al's place in, in Wimberley, Texas. And sometimes we just write wherever we could. We, we did a little, little tour together, and, you know, and you know the ideas kind of stacked up. But one time I was in... Um, I was actually in Austin for one reason or another, and I was staying in a downtown hotel, and I said, you know, you should come over and we can write. And so, um, I woke up that morning and I was, I was like on the 17th floor, overlooking all of downtown Austin, and it was really eerie. It was like a uh, Twilight Zone episode because I didn't see one person on the street or one car, you know. And I guess what was happening was that they had an ice storm. These people, man, Texas, they have any weather at all. They're like, oh, dude, dude, seriously, we got to cut. Everything's got to, like, shut down today, man. Seriously, man, this is Texas. Don't mess with it. You know, like in Cleveland, like, I, I lived here as a child. You just slid all over the road, man. You know what I mean? And um, so um, we were supposed to get together in the morning, and, and finally, around 11 o'clock, I could see this pickup truck just kind of snaking its way through the downtown, and I'm like, that's my man. <laughs> so we got together, we wrote this song. I think we actually wrote a couple songs that day. And um, uh, we got so excited that we decided, oh man, we gotta record this like right now. And um, so we didn't like anybody would do. We, we got out the yellow pages and we started looking for a recording studio. You know? and, <laughs> and I said to Al, I said, man, hey, don't call the ones with the big ads. Call the ones with the really small ads because they, they need the work. You know, my, my landlady taught me that. And, um, it's a true story. So uh, we called this number and we said, uh, hey, uh, yeah, we'd like to record uh, like a singer-songwriter demo. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we, we do that. Uh, what, what are you guys thinking? Well, we're thinking like maybe like, you know, like 20 minutes from now, you know. Oh, oh, okay, that's cool. That's cool. So we got this address and, and we got an Al's truck and we went to the kind of outskirts of Austin, kind of a nondescript area, you know, and I thought that's kind of a weird place for a studio, but whatever. And we went, and it was like somebody's house, and we knocked on the front door, and this, like, kid answers the door. <laughs> what's up? Hey, guys, what's going on? Yeah, so, okay. Come on in. And he had a few mics set up and a couple chairs, and so we recorded a couple songs, and um, we went into the control room. We were listening to it back, you know, and it sounded pretty good. We were, we were pretty pleased. And the kid was mixing this. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, for some and I should mention too that for some reason, I'm not sure why, but Alejandro was wearing like a tailored suit, you know, like totally tailored, uh, Italian shoes, pointy, you know, shoes with uh, vest, you know, French cuffs, cufflinks, you know, tie. I don't know where he was, if he was coming from a gig or what. <laughs> but um, the kid looks up. He goes, <laughs> "You guys." <laughs> have a lot of character in your voices. <laughs> I remember that part. Anyway, so, so we, were, we were pretty pleased and, um, and uh, finally Al, Al pulls out a big Chicago roll and he's got a big Chicago roll of money and he, and he says to the kid, hey, uh, how, much do we owe, how much do we owe you, bro? And the kid goes, well, uh, let me see, uh, you guys, normally I charge like $35 an hour. You guys were here for about 20 minutes, so, um, and I was like, hey. Kills off a few 50s or something, <laughs> and we just headed out of there. And so, we decided we were going to do the whole album like that, and wherever we were, wherever we wrote the song, we would just record it right then and there. But, but we had so many ideas. <laughs> The reason why I know that story is that whenever Alejandro and I get together, we usually tell that story again, and I act like I never heard it. Oh yeah, I think I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is called Sister Lost Soul.
Oh, oh, oh. 